Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So this is the last and final video on sales variances on the topic of variance analysis. So in this video, I'm going to explain you the last three problems, 34, 35, 36. And that's, that will be the end of the topic variance analysis. So in this topic of standard costing and various analysis, the first video I have prepared on the introduction, what do you mean by standard costing? What are the differences between standard costing and historical costing? And what are the different types of standards? And what are the advantages, limitations of standard costing? All these things I have explained. I have explained about variance analysis. It is not simply to calculate the variance. After calculating the variance, we have to find out the different reasons why this variance is arising. So that is called analysis of variance. So on this topic, material variances, labor variances, overhead variances and sales variances. So, so far I have completed three variances, material, labor and overhead. And this is the last variance that is sales variance going on. So I suggest you, if you are new to my channel, I suggest you to visit the playlist of my channel. I have uploaded many subjects, videos like financial accounting, advanced accounting, cost accounting, corporate accounting, advanced corporate accounting, managerial accounting, income tax, business statistics, financial management, investment management, and many more subjects are to be uploaded in future. So right now, I am doing the problems on managerial accounting and the topic is standard costing variance analysis. Now, 34th problem. <clears throat> so before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So uh, keep the problems ready before start watching the problems. 34th problem. The budget and actual sales for a period in respect of two products are as follows. So we are given two products X and why budgeted and actual the budgeted quantity 600 800 budgeted price are 3 rupees 4 rupees and value 1800 and 3200 it has multiplied 600 into 3 1800 800 into 4 3200 similarly actual quantity 800 x 600 y actual price 4 3 multiply 800 into 4 3200 600 into 3 1800 calculate sales variance it's very easy. Three formula or four formula we will apply. The first formula total sales value variance. The total sales value variance is equal to actual sales minus budgeted sales. We can call it as budgeted sales or we can call it as standard sales means one and the same. Right. So first of all calculation of sales variances I have put the data in a tabular form. The budgeted actual product X and Y Budgeted sales are standard quantity, standard price, standard sales, actual quantity, actual price, actual sales. So 600, 300, 1800 complete data is given in the problem. Right? Now, sales value variance. Actual sales minus budgeted sales. What are the actual sales here? 5000. What are the budgeted sales? 5000. Both are equal. Variance means difference, deviation of actual sales from standard sales here there is no deviation at all we have expected the sales to be 5000 and the actual sales are also 5000 there is no variation so sales the total sales value variance is nil zero now sales price variance the formula for sales price variance actual quantity into actual price minus standard price actual quantity into actual price minus standard price so actual quantities are given 800, 600. Actual price are given 4, 3, 4, 3. Standard price are 3, 4, 3, 4. 4 minus 3, 1. 1 into 800, 800 favorable. Similarly, 3 minus 4 into 600, you'll get adverse, minus 600 adverse. So 800 favorable, 600 adverse. So balance 200 favorable. 800 minus 600, 200 favorable. So sales price variance. Sales volume variance. So sales volume variance is equal to standard price into actual quantity minus standard quantity. So standard price into actual quantity minus standard quantity. So standard price are given 3, 4. St actual quantity 800, 600. Standard quantity 600, 800. So 800 minus 600 into 3, 600 favorable. 
600 minus 800 into 4, 800 adverse. So 800 adverse and 600 favorable. So set off, you will get 200 adverse. 200 adverse. Now we can verify whether our calculations are correct or not. Sales value variance is equal to sales price variance plus sales volume variance. If you add up the price and volume variance, you should get the value variance. Now check 200 favorable and 200 adverse. Both will get cancelled. 200 favorable, 200 adverse. Both will get cancelled. So zero sales value variance is zero. That means our calculations are correct. Now last one more variance will calculate sales mix variance. Sales mix variance is equal to standard price into actual quantity minus revised standard quantity. Standard price into actual quantity minus revised SQ. Now in our problem, the mixes are same. What is the actual mix here? 1400. What is the standard mix here? 1400. When actual mix and standard mix both are same, there is no need to calculate revised SQ. No need to calculate revised SQ because revised SQ itself will become SQ. Revised SQ is nothing but SQ only when if the actual mix and standard mix both are equal. So first time we are having both actual mix, standard mix both are equal. So there is no need to calculate revised SQ. Revised SQ is equal to SQ. No substitute. X standard uh, sales mix variance. So standard price 3-4. Actual quantity 800, 600 and revised SQ is nothing but SQ only. So SQ 600, 400. So 800 minus 600 into 3, 600 favorable. 600 minus 800 into 4, 800 adverse. So 800 adverse minus 600 favorable, 200 adverse. Sales mix variance. That's it. This is the end of problem number 34. Now, 35th, second last problem. From the budget. An actual sales for May 1999 in respect of three products given below. Calculate sales variance. Previous problem we were having two products. Now we are having three products. The same data is given product XYZ total standard units. Standard units means standard quantity. The standard quantity 5000, 4000, 3000. Total 12000. Standard unit price SP 567. Then actual, actual number of units AQ. AQ 5000, 6000, 4000 and AP actual selling price 5 rupees 6.25, 6.75 that's all. There is no difference at all only one extra product instead of two products we are having three products. Again we have to calculate sales variance. Four variances we can. The product XYZ standard SQ is given in the problem. SP given in the problem. Now we multiply SS standard sales. So 5,000 into 5, 25,000, 6,000 into uh, 4,000 into 6, 24,000, 3,000 into 7, 21. Take the total 70,000. 70,000 is the standard sales, budgeted sales. Now actual quantity 5,000, 6,000, 4,000 given in the problem. Actual selling price 5 rupees 6.25, 6.75. Multiply 5,000 into 5, 25,000. 6,000 into 6.25, 37,500. 4,000 into 6.75, 27. Take the total 89,500. Table complete. Now we substitute the values in the formula. First, sales value variance is equal to actual sales minus budgeted sales. Actual sales 89,500, budgeted sales 70,000. 89,500 minus 70,000, 19,500 is favorable. Which one? Total sales value variance. Now sales price variance. Sales price variance is equal to actual quantity into actual price minus standard price. Actual price minus standard selling price. So actual quantity, actual quantity are 5,000, 6,000, 4,000. 5, 6, 4. Actual price, 5 rupees, 6.25, 6.75. 5, 6.25. Standard price, 5, 6, 7. Now, 5 minus 5, 0. When 0 is multiplied by 5,000, you get 0 only. So no variance. Next, 6.25 minus 6 into 6,000, 1,500 favorable. 6.75 minus 7 into 4,000, 1,000 adverse. So, 1,500 favorable and 1,000 adverse if you set off 500 favorable. That's it. Now, sales volume variance. Sales volume variance is equal to standard price into actual quantity minus standard quantity. 
standard price standard price are given 5 6 7 standard actual quantity actual quantity are 5000 6000 4000 standard quantity 543 5000 4000 3000 now 5000 minus 5000 zero no deviation then 6000 minus 4000 into 6 12000 favorable 4000 minus 3000 into 7 7000 favorable so 12,000 plus 7,000, 19,000 favorable is the volume variance. How much is the price variance? 500 favorable. How much is volume variance? 19,000 favorable. Add up both this 500 favorable plus 19,000 favorable. 19,500 favorable. Check here, 19,500 favorable. In other words, the sales value variance is equal to sales price variance plus sales volume variance. Now we'll come to the sales mix variance. Sales mix variance is equal to standard price into actual quantity minus revised SQ. Revised standard quantity. And revised standard quantity is equal to total of actual mix by total of standard mix into standard quantity. Now mix. How much is the mix here? 15,000 by 12,000 into 5,000. 15,000 by 12,000 into 5,000. Similarly, why? 15,000 by 12,000 into 4,000. 15,000 by 12,000 into 3,000. We got revised SQ. Now you substitute in the formula. SMB, XYZ, standard price, 5, 6, 7. Then actual quantity, 5,000, 6,000, 4,000. Revised SQ, 6,250, 5,000 and 3,750. Now 5,000 minus 6,250 into 5. 6,250 adverse. 6,000 favorable, 1750 favorable. If you add up, 1500 favorable that is the sales mix variance this is the end of 35th problem the last and final problem 36th xyz limited furnished the following information relating to budgeted sales and actual sales here for april 94 budget sales product a b c just like the th previous problem three products are there a b c the budgeted sales are quantity sq are 1200 800 2000 and SP standard selling price is 15, 20, 40. Actual sales of ABC are 880, 880, 2640. And actual selling price was 18, 20, 38. Calculate the following variances total sales variance, sales price variance, sales quantity variance, and sales mix variance. Specifically given in the problem, four variances we have to calculate. First, we put the data in the tabular form. Products ABC, budgeted actual, standard quantity, standard price is given in the problem. Standard quantity, standard price given in the problem. Multiply and calculate standard sales. 1200 into 15, 18,000. 800 into 20, 16,000. 2000 into 40, 80,000. Total standard sales, budgeted sales are 1,14,000. Similarly, actual quantity is given 880 into 18, 15,840. 880 into 20, 17,600. 2640 units into 38, 1,3,20. Total 1,33,760 is the actual sales. Now, first formula sales value variance. Sales value variance is equal to actual total sales minus total budgeted sales. Actual sales are 1,33,760, budgeted sales are 1,14,000. Subtract 19,760 favorable. That is the Total sales value variance. Now sales price variance is equal to actual quantity into actual price minus standard selling price. Actual quantity 880, 880, 2640. Actual price 18, 20, 38. And sell is standard price is 15, 20, 40. 15, 20, 40. Now subtract uh, 18 minus 15 into 880. Then 20 minus 20 is 0. 0 into 880 is 0. 38 minus 14 to 2640, 5280 adverse. So if you set off 5280 is more, so 5280 minus 2640, 2640 adverse. This is the price variance, sales price variance. Volume variance. Volume variance is equal to standard price into actual quantity minus standard quantity. Remember, volume means quantity. Volume means quantity here. So a standard price, standard price are 15, 20, 40. Actual quantity 880, 880 to 640. Standard quantity 1200, 800 and 2000. Now 880 minus 1200 into 15, 4800 it was. 880 minus 80 into 20, 1600 favorable. 2640 minus 2000 into 40, 25600 favorable. 
total 22,400 favorable. That is the volume variance. Now we can verify whether our calculations are correct or not. Volume variance and price variance, if you add up, you should get the value variance. Now, 22,400 favorable minus 2,640 adverse. This price variance is adverse. Volume variance is favorable. So from this favorable, deduct the adverse and find out will you get 19,760 or not? 22,400 minus 2,640, you will get 19,760 favorable. That means our calculations are correct. Now sales mix variance. The sales mix variance is equal to standard price into actual quantity minus revised SQ. Revised SQ is equal to total of actual mix by total of standard mix into standard quantity. The mixture is how much? 4400 divided by 4000 into 1200. Similarly, 4400 divided by 4000 into 800. 4400 by 4000 into 2000. 2020. Revised SQ we have calculated. Now, standard mix variance. X, Y, Z, so as standard price, standard price are 15, 20, 40. Then actual quantity are 880, 880, 2640. Revised SQ 1320, 800, 2020. Now you solve 12,600 favor. That's it. So this is the end of 36th, the last and final problem on variance analysis. So totally 36 problems I have explained you in detail of all the four types of variances, material variances, labor variances, overhead variances and sales variances. So if you have watched all the videos, definitely you will feel more confident in attempting the problem in examination regarding the variances. The whole, the, all the problems are dependent on the formulae. So be thorough, be perfect, remember all the formulas easily you can solve the problem. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share it in your group, in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and get the confidence on the subjects, get the knowledge and uh, give the comments on my lectures. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. Many viewers, I'm getting only 50% of my viewers are have been subscribed. Remaining 50% they have not yet subscribed. So my request, please subscribe my channel, get more and more encouragement to give more and more different videos on different topics which will enhance your knowledge, the confidence, you will become more successful. So we'll continue the next topic, next subject in the coming videos. So keep watching, share it and enjoy in learning journey.